Conservative columnist Mona Sharon is speaking out after being escorted out of a gathering of conservatives during a panel discussion last week. It was on the hashtag MeToo movement. Let's take a look. I'm disappointed in people on our side okay. for being hypocrites about uh, sexual harassers and abusers of women who are in our party, who are sitting in the White House, who brag about their extramarital affairs. You can hear the crowd at CPAC did not like what she had to say and booed her in an op-ed in the New York Times. Sharon responded that she doesn't regret speaking and she is glad she was booed. Mona is a syndicated columnist and senior fellow at the Ethics and Public Policy Center and author of Sex Matters, coming out in June. Welcome back to the program. So glad to be here. You're making a lot of waves this week. You almost turned down this invitation to go to CPAC to be on this panel because you knew or you thought that your views would not be accepted. You were booed. You were right. Why did you do it? Because it feels good to have somebody tell the truth. It always cheers me up, so I wanted to cheers, cheer some others as well. <laughs> what is the truth, in your opinion? Uh, the truth is that the Republican Party has to be honest about sexual harassment. It has to be honest about the drift toward the alt-right that we've seen at CPAC, which is con uh, contemptible. Well, let's but, talk uh, about the substance. Okay. Why are you convinced that the Trump, 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 Trump supporters, the have ruined the conservative movement? Well, I didn't say that. What I said was um, that CPAC uh, has been Trumpified thoroughly and um, has allowed itself to become a clown show. This year, they invited Marion Le Pen, who is the granddaughter of a fascist and anti-Semite in France, leader of the former leader of the National Front. Um, this is a corruption of what most of us understand by conservatism, and so I wanted to talk about that. Um, and denounce it because I don't think that most conservatives support that or think that's what the conservative movement is. The other thing was the sexual harassment stuff, which is just the elephant in the room. So let's talk about that. This was an us two panel, mm -hmm. and the goal of this was to talk about why conservatives are left out of the sexual harassment movement, and your point is that Donald Trump Well, there were several points to make. I mean, we, I think most of the panelists did agree, including me, did agree that there are aspects of Me Too that are dangerous if they're taken too far, that it's important to make distinctions between a bad date, say, and sexual assault. So that was a point, I think, uh, of agreement among us. But I did feel it was also important to say, look, we have to not be hypocrites here. We have to acknowledge that this White House has someone in the Oval Office who is uh, Bra brags about his sexual infidelities, about his marital infidelities, about he pays off porn stars. Well, he we don't know that he paid them off. His, <laughs> his longtime attorney made a $130,000 payment to a porn star before the 2016 Which election. Which might be a coincidence, but, you know, come on. And, um, and furthermore, that, um, that has uh, shown a real insensitivity to how you treat women. But you say that there should be room for multiple viewpoints within the conservative movement. Yet you're saying that, you know, this, these other viewpoints shouldn't be heard. Is that what you're saying? No. The entire CPAC conference was represented, very well represented by Trump supporters. In fact, it's a cult. Um, and you weren't, it was practically impossible to hear a, a, a word of criticism of the president with the one or two exceptions throughout the entire day, uh, uh, four days. So for me to just say what I said is just, I, I am very much the minority. The liberal media is loving you right now. I've seen you on MSNBC. Uh, do you think that's true? Oh, yeah. I mean, the liberal media will always like it if you're going to criticize your fellow conservatives. Um, that doesn't mean you should never criticize your fellow conservatives. Just because the liberal media likes it doesn't mean it's not true. Do you support the president anywhere, in anything? In certain respects, I think he's done things that I agree with. I mean, it, it's a Republican administration. There are bound to be things. I, I think the uh, deregulatory... Uh, agenda has been good. I like some of the things Betsy DeVos has done at education. I'm a big fan of Nikki Haley at the United Nations. There are quite a few things. Um, but nevertheless, it used to be the case uh, before we had this cultish attitude toward our president that you could be critical and praising of the same person without being accused of being a traitor. Thank you so much. We'll leave it there. Mona Sharon, syndicated columnist, senior fellow at the Ethics and Public Policy Center.